This is a video on how to use a constant current regulated power supply module for making GANs. Now we got a new control module here. I thought I would try. It looks like another winner. It is a snap-in buck and boost module with four digit resolution that includes constant current and constant voltage operating modes. Plus the low end of its output range is 0.5 volts, which is just right for making MagRab GANs. It needs a DC power source between 5.0 and 32 volts. I'm using a 12 volt AC adapter that's rated for 1.18 amps. This is an inexpensive module that cost me around $12.50 each. It's got a rotary encoder, uh, you know, switches for selecting the mode, whatever, and the red light there showing that it's in constant current mode. It got it running for a quarter of an amp. Right now it's running at 0.48. Uh, 40, 48 hundredths of a volt, 0.48 volt, and a quarter of an amp. So, this is exciting. I'm going to get an enclosure for this. I just got this temporarily set up with these uh, wires di uh, connected directly to it, but uh, I got an enclosure on order, so this should uh, make it kind of cool. The following slides show how to mount the module into an enclosure. A paper template for the panel cutout was taped to the enclosure. A jigsaw was used to cut out the opening. Material was removed with a file a little bit at a time and was checked often for a close fit. Please see the description below for links to the wiring diagram and the parts. The following clips were recorded from two different GANS batches. All right, here's a MagRab GANS job that's running with two containers and two voltage regulators. We got this one here on the left that's container number one that's facing me. We got this one on the right that's container two. Okay, so this container one is running at uh, 0 0.71 volts at uh, 0.375 amp. That's uh, 3 eighths of an amp. This one here is running at uh, 0.82 volts at uh, 0.375 amp. And the job has been running for a little less than two hours. Uh, so anyway, that's the setup. The next clip shows how to change the constant current setting. I think it slowed down a little bit. So I'm going to bump it up to a half an amp. So I'm just going to go into the settings here. All right, so here's what I'm going to do. Go down. Okay, there it is, half an amp. I'm going to go set this one. Okay, there it is, half an amp. Okay, so I just stirred it up. I'm going to set the uh, timer for 30 minutes and check it again. I hope you liked the video. Thank you for watching.